All right, let's go to number 16. This is Colton Hood, who says, I work for a company that is owned by a professing Christian. He makes inappropriate jokes. I don't know if rebuking or correcting my boss is proper or not. How do I go about that, about this? Um, the general rule for correcting anybody in error um, would be that you do so, well, here, I'll take you there. It's Galatians chapter six. Um, on the way there though, let me tell you this. I, I don't think it's wrong for you to correct your boss on Christian issues. You're not telling him how to run his business, not directly. You're not, you're not trying to assert authority over him in the workplace. You're not doing that. You're coming to him as a Christian brother. And as Christians, we are equals. And it's entirely okay. I'm a pastor, but, but anybody could come to me and tell me, Mike, you've sinned in this way. Anybody could. And, there, and so that authority structure doesn't, does not stop you from going to him to talk to him about those issues. But you got to be super careful how you do it. Brothers, Galatians 6, verse 1. If anyone is caught in any transgression, now here's what you do about it. You who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness, keeping watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. This one, this one phrase, this one sentence is got tons of stuff, right? The person's caught in a transgression. The idea is that, you know, sin is, sin brings us into slavery. Sin brings us into its power. And you see him falling under the power of sin uh, in multiple ways on a regular basis. And it's not just a trivial thing. Um, I mean, no sin is trivial, but, um, but we don't rebuke every single issue we see. So this is a significant issue. You think it really does necessitate rebuke. Here's what you should do. First, are you spiritual? Are you, are you spiritual? Well, I'm a very spiritual person. Ah, but you might misunderstand how the Bible means spiritual. We often go, I'm spiritual, not religious, by which we mean something like, I have spiritual vibey vibes. And the Bible means spiritual like you walk in the spirit, right? Like love, patience, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, kindness, self-control. Self-control, that's the one everyone leaves out when they say I'm spiritual, but not religious. Um, so this is about living in a godly, not just godly like you're, you're not sinning in your life, but also in the character of Christ, like loving, joyful, gracious, kind, gentle character. This is the spiritual person, and it, which is convicting to me, uh, even just thinking about it right now, and hopefully it's encouraging to you guys as well in the same way. But you need to be this, okay? You need to first do some work on yourself and make sure that you're in this place. You're in this, this, this place of being genuinely spiritual. Read Galatians 5, right? Here's Galatians 6 about being spiritual. And in Galatians, same book, it gives a list of what it means to walk in the spirit. Read that list and think about it. Now, what should you do? You should restore him. It doesn't just say rebuke him. Isn't that interesting? It, now, restoring him involves rebuking him, but the verb here is restore because your agenda, your goal is not, that's it. I'm going to vent my frustrations at you because of you sinning like this all the time. It's never like that. Instead, it's, I'm going to try to bring you back by telling you the problems, but my goal is restoration. My goal is to bring you into godlier living, right? Restoration. So make sure that's your goal. And you have to do it in a spirit of gentleness. In a spirit of gentleness. Now, this is a, the general rule. There's times for harshness. There are times. But the general rule is gentleness. Do this. Go to him individually, privately, just the two of you. Tell him you respect him. Here's a gentle thing to do. Tell him you love him. Tell him you, you're, you, you see his Christian commitment and you have the same commitment. You're both followers of Jesus. And because of that, you were hoping you could talk to him about some things that you were concerned about and... After telling him those issues as gently as you can, affirm to him again that you care about him and love him. And then that might be one way to approach that. Um, yeah, I hope you find that helpful.